Today on The Young and the Restless Billy plays his new role, Devin warns Tucker and Summer decides it's time to move on. At Crimson Lights, Sharon notices Chance has a picnic basket. He invites her to join him for breakfast in the park. Sharon thinks that sounds lovely. He notes they're both busy but seeing her is the best part of his day. Sharon would love to go with him but she has a meeting with Adam. Can they do lunch? Chance will take what he can get. They kiss passionately and Chance murmurs, mum. Sharon leaves as he wishes her luck. Chance muses, well, party of one. At the Abbott Mansion, Jack awakens Diane with breakfast in bed. She asks, am I dreaming? Did we really get married? Jack tells her their husband and wife and calls her Mrs. Abbott. After a kiss, Diane talks about having a celebration for their friends and family later. She's not sorry they tied the knot, though. They'd waited long enough. Talk turns to Ashley and Diane says whatever she throws at them, they'll tackle it as a team. They kiss and canoodle. Downstairs, Diane and Jack meet with Billy, who says Ashley is convinced he's furious with Jack for rushing into marriage. It was a step in the right direction to get her and Tucker to trust him, but they need to escalate it a bit. Jack says, whatever it takes. Diane tells Billy they appreciate his willingness to play spy. Billy hopes to wipe the smirk off of Tucker's face. In a suite at the GCAC, Ashley and Tucker get dressed. She's glad they decided to spend the night there. She's so sick of Diane. She tells Tucker she's decided she's done. She's not going to try and protect Jack anymore. It's every person for themselves. Tucker is overcome with relief. Ashley declares they'll sit back and wait them out. Diane will do her worst at Jabba. She's sure of it. She'll make a mess of things and they'll swoop in to fold them into their growing empire and save Jabbat. Tucker loves the new perspective. He wants to stay in the room with her all day making plans and making love. Ashley says sorry they have too much work to do. At the Chancellor estate, Devon paces and looks out the window before turning to look at Catherine's portrait. He flashes to discussing Tucker being a user with Catherine, who says she'd like to believe her son is capable of change. Devon recalls her advocating for giving Tucker a chance to prove himself. Like it or not, Tucker is family, and you always back up your family, no matter how much they've disappointed us. At Jabbat, Diane tells Jack that replacing Maria is going to be tough. Summer knocks on the door and Jack invites her in. She heard they got married and congratulates them. Jack asks how she's doing. She's hanging in. Jack approves of her hiring Chelsea and can't wait to see what they'll accomplish together. Summer says she stopped by to see Harrison earlier and the boy told her Kyle's on a trip. Diane's surprised he didn't tell her. He's in New York on business. Summer muses, with Audra. Jack believes so. Summer snarks. What a surprise. Jack says, she is his boss at Newman Media. Summer replies, that's not all she is. Diane asks what she's saying. Summer says they're sleeping together. Kyle admitted it. He ditched her, ditched Jabbat, and she supposes, now he has everything he wants. Summer walks out and fights her emotions as, inside, Diane and Jack exchange a worried glance. In the park, Billy flashes to Jack having concerns about him backsliding and warning that once they start this there is no turning back. He calls someone and asks if his sister Ashley is there. He muses, dining room. And she's there now? After thanking the person he disconnects and walks off. In the GCAC dining room, Tucker and Ashley discuss Billy's growing disillusionment with Jack. Ashley thinks Billy is capable of turning on him. Should they lead him along and see where it goes? Tucker agrees, let's begin the grand persuasion. Just then, Billy walks in. The love triangle between Days of Our Lives, Sammy Brady, Lucas Horton, and E.J. Demera. Ashley calls him over to join them. Tucker excuses himself to go to Dom's music class. Ashley asks Billy if he reached out to Jack after what happened last night. Billy didn't. He thought about the stressful argument all night. Ashley feels something has to happen fast. Billy asks if she's still planning to take legal action to get her assets from Jabbat. Ashley confirms she is and warns Billy that Diane will be gunning for his job. Jack's just letting it all happen. Billy wonders how they can stop it. Ashley doesn't think it's possible anymore. Jabbat is in a very precarious situation and is destined to fail unless Jack opens his eyes. It's all very depressing. Billy hates what Jack is doing but isn't about to give up on Jabbat. Does she have a plan to save it? Ashley notes he's still there on the inside track and asks, 
how far are you willing to go to protect what's ours? At Crimson Lights, Summer spots Chance and his picnic basket. Chance explains it was supposed to be for two, but it didn't work out. He asks if she's free. She is so, he says, great. Grab a coffee and come with me. In the park on a picnic blanket, Summer tells Chance that her husband is on a business trip with Audra and is sleeping with her. It hit me hard. Chance can imagine. Summer can't pretend it's a casual thing anymore. Kyle just dropped me like it was nothing to him, so why can't I let it go? She wants to get where Chance is. Chance reminds her she has to grieve the loss. He had to grieve the future he imagined with Abby and Dom before he could move on. Summer has lost Kyle before. But this feels different. Maybe what I need is closure. Chance doesn't think closure is a thing. It will come back whenever she sees Kyle. It starts to hurt less though. He asks. What if Kyle showed up right now and says he forgives you, then what? Summer doesn't think they could get back to where they were. Too much has changed. Chance is proud that Summer acknowledged a reconciliation isn't going to happen. He points out a goldfinch in the trees and she titters. Are you a bird watcher or something? He confesses he was a boy scout, that they're sharing childhood memories when Sharon appears. She felt bad turning him down for a picnic and told Adam they'd have to push their meeting back. I came back here to try to catch you, but I see that Summer has taken my place. At Jabut, Diane rails at Jack. What is Kyle thinking? Jack doesn't think he's doing much thinking. He thought his son and Summer would overcome this eventually, but given this, even if Kyle can manage to forgive Summer, there may not be a chance for their relationship. Diane wishes there was something they could do to help. Jack says only Kyle can fix it. The dalliance with Audra is an escape. I know something about this. I've been there. Their marriage is the one thing going right. At the Chancellor Estate, Tucker remarks on how cute Dom is and Devin teases he may allow him to be their ring bearer. Devin is happy for Tucker and Ashley, but warns Abby's not too thrilled with her mom right now. She's determined to tear down Jabot because of Diane. Tucker argues she's concerned that Jack and Diane are going to do irreparable harm. He hopes he's persuaded her to drop her more aggressive plans. He thinks the feud with Jack is breaking her heart and he wants to spare her any more pain. Devin doesn't see how Abby can find fault with that. Tucker insists there's nothing all that nefarious about Ashley's intentions, she just doesn't trust Diane and neither does he. Devin thinks she needs to make that clear to Abby. She may not realize how an Abbott sibling battle could have consequences beyond business. Tucker agrees they shouldn't be at odds right now. At the GCAC, Ashley tells Billy that he's in the perfect position to expose Diane. It's only a matter of time before she shows her true colors. With a little prodding from him, she'll mess everything up. Billy realizes she wants him to push Diane's buttons. Ashley nods, in ways I've never been able to. Billy asks if she's expecting him to spy. Ashley says just a little push until Diane shows her true agenda. And then they'll save their father's company. It's for the good of Jabot. You could be the hero of the family. Billy gets it, but what she's asking him to do right now. I'm going to have to think about it. At the park, Summer is ready to leave Sharon and Chance to their picnic. Sharon invites her to join them, but she has to get to work. After Summer goes, Sharon asks, how's she doing? Chance says she's a strong woman and will get through it. As he invites Sharon to sit and enjoy the picnic, Summer watches from the bushes. At Jabot, Summer rejoins Jack and Diane to show them the press release about Chelsea's hiring. Jack signs off on it and asks if she's all right. She's not, but she will be. If he can move on, so can I, and that's what I'm going to do now. In the park, Summer tells Chance it's nice that he can be there for Summer, who needs a friend right now. Chance wants to focus on Sharon right now. He knows her company is her first priority, and he doesn't want to get in the way. Sharon assures him that seeing him is the best part of her day, too. She won't let business get in the way of what matters most. He says, like this blueberry. He pops it in his mouth, and they kiss. Tucker rejoins Ashley at the GCAC, and she updates him that Billy didn't agree to help them, but he's leaning that way. Tucker is most interested in what they're creating together. You need to make things right with Abby. Ashley acts puzzled. Tucker warns that what they're planning could come between them, no matter how she spins it. They need to prevent that from happening. At Jabot, Billy updates Jack and Diane that Ashley wants him to be a Trojan horse there at Jabot to push Diane into being greedy and controlling. 
She's hoping Diane will damage Jabot with her ambition and bad decisions to the point where Ashley and Tucker can come in and take control. This is her plan to protect their father's legacy. It's a power play if I've ever seen one. Diane tells Jack this is a good thing. Ashley and Tucker trust Billy enough to include him in their plans. They just have to figure out how to use that to their advantage.